All right, Mr. Telefell TV, how's everybody doing out there? You know, for me personally, privately, 2018 has been a very tough year. A lot of ups in the business world, but a lot of downs for me in my personal life. You know what I mean? So, um, I look at 2018 with a grain of salt. You just, you, you, you're thankful to still be around, right? But you, you, you're dealing with so much personal stuff. You look at it and sometimes you could, you kind of say, dang, yo, 2018 trying to take everything from you. Um, but we keep pushing forward. You know, 2018, ladies and gentlemen, took one of our legends this morning. You know, um, we lost Aretha Franklin a few minutes ago at the age of 76. Aretha Franklin lost her battle with pancreatic cancer. It's a long battle. This thing had been going on for years. Um, she'd been falling in health for many months. Reportedly, Aretha had got down to as low as 86 pounds. Remember, Aretha had some weight on her. So for her to get down to 86 pounds in her final days, I mean, that's it's a lot of weight to lose. She, I mean, the health was deteriorating. You know, she was around family and friends at her crib, I believe. Don't quote me on that right there. But I know she was in the hospital a couple of days ago. She was able to come home from the hospital Last time I checked, as of yesterday, Aretha Franklin was in her home in hospice care. And um, I'm guessing she just wanted to die peacefully with, with family and friends around. And I've been told that family and friends were around when she passed away. Um, you know, she had a home in Detroit. And I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. You know, go do your research on Aretha. Aretha Franklin is from Memphis, Tennessee, my hometown, so... Want to big up my hometown for producing that phenomenal talent that will be known for some of her. I mean, her catalog is incredible. You know, off the top, I think of, you make me feel like a woman. Yeah, that's what I think of off the top. And of course, R-E-S-V-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. R-E-S-V-E-C-T. You know, I mean, we can go all for days. Got to pay homage to the legend. The good thing when you're a legend, and when I say that we're a legend, I don't throw that bad boy around loosely. I'm not talking about somebody that do 5 million views on a video or knocking over somebody's newsstand. I'm talking about a real legend. Yeah, the good thing about that is your, your music will move on or whatever you put in the atmosphere, your energy will move on even past you, right? And her legacy is cemented forever as one of the queens, if not the queen, and I just had to come on this platform and play a little bit of homage to Aretha Franklin. Like I said, um, we did lose Aretha Franklin at the age of 76. She survived by four sons. And, um, you know, prayers to that family. 18 Grammys and the first woman ever to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. She had a classic performance a few years ago in front of the Obamas that a lot of people remember, like, from a recent type thing. But this woman, I mean, come on now. Though this is before my era, the this is one of the ones that translated over to even the youth in my generation, right? I want to say rest in peace to the Queen Aretha Franklin one last time. And like I said, prayers to the family. And, and somebody just told me while I'm making this video, she did pass away in her Detroit home. So I can't confirm it now. I literally got this update middle of the video. She she did pass away in her Detroit home. And again, under hospice care, around family, down to 86 pounds. You don't want to see anybody struggle like that. Uh, God be with that family. And one last time, y'all got to say it with me. I don't know where y'all at. R-E-S-V-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. All right. I got to I gotta stop with the singing. <laughs> Rest in peace to the Queen Aretha Franklin, dead at the age of 76. What up, Pharaohs? I decided to step my game up again. I've created a music reaction Instagram page. That way, you guys can be up to date on some of the latest new music in the atmosphere, and you guys can also send me some of your music as well, and you will get Mr. Telefero's first reaction to your record for good or for bad, or an artist that we talk about on my platform's music for good or for bad. Again, follow me on Instagram, Mr. Telefero TV. Again, that's Mr. Telefero TV, and you get more of yours truly.